getting satisfaction. That's what all financial advisors want, at least the ones we have the privilege of coaching. I'm John Bowen, CEO of CEG Worldwide, and in this week's first word, I want to talk about getting satisfaction as a financial advisor. See, we've done some recent studies on financial advisors and the level of satisfaction they have. And then this is a study of a little over 2,100 financial advisors. So, I mean, very statistically significant study. We've got something for you. Let me blow it up so you can read this a little bit easier. See, when we asked about being satisfied with being a financial advisor, you know, your career, what we found was 92.1 were satisfied. When we look at very satisfied, that's over half, 56.5, were very satisfied with their choice of being a financial advisor. Somewhat satisfied, 35.6. When we look at dissatisfied, you know, the somewhat was only 6.4, and the very dissatisfied, 1.5. I mean, these are great numbers if you think about it. I mean, I don't know if there's another profession that has this level of satisfaction. We get the privilege of working with individuals, families, and helping them make smart decisions about their money so that they can achieve all that's important to them. I mean, what a great calling we have. Well, this would be only part of the story if we stopped here. So let's look at the satisfaction from another perspective. In this perspective, I want to take a look at net income. Now, I know success means different things to different people, but as an organization that does a lot of research, it's hard to really measure success uh, on anything other than net income. I mean, it's the easiest one to measure. So let me take a look at net income here. When we ask, and I'll blow it up again so you can see it a little bit better. When we ask, how satisfied are you with your current net income? What do we find? Well, very satisfied. I mean, it's the smallest percentage. It's only 5.5. Somewhat satisfied, 41.2. I mean, it's under half are satisfied with their current income. 36.5 are somewhat dissatisfied, and 16.8 are very dissatisfied. I mean, these are huge numbers to have 92% really feeling great about their choice of being a financial advisor and then over half feeling dissatisfied with their level of net income. Why, why, you know, this incongruency? Well, I got to tell you that there's a lot of frustration. See, this is a great business because we get to serve our clients and make a big impact with them so that they can have the lives they want. But in so doing, as they do well, we'd like to do well. And when we look around, we see there's a small group of financial advisors who are excelling. We call them the elite financial advisors, and they're having huge success. And oftentimes when we meet these advisors, we go, you know, (laughs) we're doing a better job. Why are they so much more successful? And that's why we commissioned this research, and this is where we went ahead and put together, let me blow this up so you can see the cover, the client-centric shift. And this is all about the change of how financial advisors are winning affluent clients and earning higher incomes by providing this great client experience. Now, if you'd like to get a copy of this report, you can go to our website or go to Amazon. It's a Kindle book you can download, very powerful, showing you not only the research, but what are the best practices that you can incorporate in your business so that you can have a tremendous business where you're serving your clients well and doing well by doing that. No longer be frustrated, but getting satisfaction on all levels as a financial advisor. Your clients and your future clients are counting on you. Don't let them down. We wish you the best of success. (music) 